Um, it was a magical experience for both of us. And during our 10 year, 10 year marriage, we talked about that first uh, time we saw each other a lot and how it touched our soul. It, it did something to us. And it was really, um, it was love at first sight. What do you remember about those uh, early days, those happy days, uh, and the Steve Nunn that you knew at that time? Steve Nunn was such a loving, beautiful man who loved life. And he would always share with me to live life to the fullest, to enjoy this moment, and that he wanted me to, to know the pleasure and beauty that life gave to all of us. And we would dance and go to concerts and laugh. And, and the thing with Steve and me was we not only, not only were we married, but we worked together. I was his uh, legislative um, right hand in the legislature, so personal assistant. And we were together all the time, 24 hours. And we ate lunch every day together. We did everything together, and it was a fairy tale for 10 years, a total fairy tale marriage. And he was a good husband. He was good to me. He worshiped the ground I walked on, and he was a good man that did good for Kentucky. You um, were on the floor um, of the uh, State House many, many times, if not every day. Yes. Uh, you might have been the only wife at that time. There were others that visited, mm -hmm. but I don't think anyone sat uh, right next to uh, their husband, wife, representative, or senator mm -hmm. uh, as you did. Was that unusual for you? Did, did, did you feel comfortable there? I felt very comfortable there, and Steve was doing such good things for Kentucky and for women and children. For example, what? What was he doing? Well, he was, um, he was the champion for children with disabilities and for women of domestic violence and helping people that did not have a voice. He was their voice. And for me to witness this in him, the honor and respect that I had for him as a man to help people that needed help, you know, and he was called the maverick, the humanitarian of the Kentucky legislature. And to work with him and be by him to help do that for Kentucky and the Kentuckians, um, it was wonderful. And his heart was so pure at the time and wanted to do good. And in some ways now reflecting back, I wonder if it was his own way that he felt somehow he didn't have a voice of his own internal pain, that he was actually fighting for himself and he was projecting it on others, but it was actually his own voice that he wanted to help himself, but he didn't know how other until to help others. And, but I felt very comfortable there. And um, What kind of relationship did he have with his father, Governor uh, Louis Nunn at that time? Um, at that time, when Steve and I first married, we were married at the Mary Todd Lincoln home here in Lexington, which Beulah Nunn, Steve's mother, restored when she was first lady. And they named the garden in her honor. And Steve and I were married in that garden with his children and Governor Nunn and Steve Samley, his sister, uh, they would not attend our wedding. So if that says anything <laughs> of their relationship when I first married, but I, it was like my mission of love to bring these two men together and it happened. And my involvement of doing that is all in the book. You can read all about it in the book and the hurdles that I had to overcome and the heartache and the pain and the pain that I witnessed Steve in and the pain that Governor Nunn was in as well because father and son loved each other. They just didn't know how. But the last two months of Governor Nunn's life before he died, he made all his wrongs right and all was forgiven between Steve and Governor Nunn. And they would kiss and hug and be as one. And it was beautiful. And then he died, Governor Nunn died. And that's when my life and Steve's life crumbled. 